Hello everyone, welcome to the most important lesson of my double bass drum series. The most common mistake of double bass players do. Maybe 80% of double bass players do this mistake. Uh, you can imagine how this is common and which players do this mistake and still maybe a lot don't aware of this. Even the drummers who are playing 5, 10, 20, 30 years or more uh, still can do this mistake. This mistake can be found on a lot of legendary songs and it is made by very very popular drummers. So let me explain what is this with simple examples. I have played two takes of simple pattern including 16 notes of double bass and to record this I have used six microphones, two condenser overhead microphones, two snare microphones, one on the top and one on the bottom. And just one microphone for each kick drum. Those takes played on same metronome and mixed exactly the same. Now I will play take one and right after that take two. Just listen carefully and try to find the difference. But don't rewind the video and don't listen again. Just Listen one time of every track that I'm playing for you. So let's go. This is round one. Let's test ourselves. Round 1 is complete. I really wonder who realized any difference between them. Don't forward the video or don't look to the comments right now, okay? I'm sure this will be a very important test no one has ever made for you before. Maybe they are exactly the same and I may be doing some another test. Who knows? So let's go for the other round. Here are the takes again, but this time without melody track, without bass and guitars, just with drums. So this is round two. Let's wait here a bit. Round 2 is complete. So what do you think? Is there any difference? Now we will go for round 3 and it will be like this. You can go back from now on and listen to these takes uh, as much as you can. Okay, but taking the video forward is forbidden. Don't trick yourself. Now let's continue. As I said before, I recorded these takes with 6 microphones and for round 3 I will close two overhead microphones and play you the takes. Ready? Let's go for round three. So now what do you think? If your answer is still, I don't hear any difference, here is round 4 for you. On this round, I will close the snare microphones too, for you to listen just with kick microphones. I think now everybody understood the timing mistake on take 1. If not, I will go a bit further and trigger the kick channels with full samples so you will not hear any leakage from the other pieces of the drum kit. And let's call this final round.
Now it's obvious, right? But why and how? Why it sounded normal in our first listenings? This is a game of our brain, similar to an illusion. So let's dig in some more here. We have listened these takes, take one and take two, and I prepared some more takes for you to understand this mistake more. So here on take one, let me show you the mistake. The left kick is, this is the left kick channel, is always early. Like, see, this needs to be here. This one needs to start somewhere here, like in the middle of these right kicks. This here, like maybe 15 milliseconds mistake. This too, this too early, early, very bad. This needs to be somewhere here, but it's like maybe 19, 18 milliseconds wrong on timing, bad bad, early, early. So guilty for this mistake is our slave foot. It usually has an urge to hit early, not on time. One of the big reasons that we can understand directly is guitar tracks. On recordings, distortion guitars can cover a lot of mistake of drums. So our first enemy for this mistake is other instruments, like especially the distortion guitars. Let's check take two. It's the perfect take. See, all equal. This x is equal to y. This x is equal to y. Like, for example, three, four, two milliseconds, it's okay. Like, it's a bit early, but it's humanized. I, I'm not the machine. So, these are okay, a bit late. Like two, three, four milliseconds, okay, but 15, 20, 25 is when we call it mistake. So see, all equal. Let's take a look at take one again. This x distance here is smaller than here. Here too, x smaller than y. This needs to be equal, this is too bad. Like, let's calculate, needs to be somewhere here, 50, oh, this is m like 25 milliseconds wrong, it's very bad. And now, let's take a look at take three. On take three, I played kicks on time, but the timing of the snares are wrong. They all flam. When you listen to this take, you will directly understand the problem. So, the problem is obvious because of flams, yes, but human ears are more sensitive to higher frequencies, so they have more tendency to follow snare as a lead counter. Let's count on this good take. So we count, when we play, we count snares. I will do a strange test again, like on this bad take, take one, I will change the kicks to snares, okay? I'll trigger kick waves as snares, like this, and snare, let's close this, as a kick, like this. And now, let's listen with the melody. And now what you count? You count snares, so uh, our mistake is much more obvious. You count like this. Like this, so 
no one is counting uh, this track because our brain is leading to higher frequencies, our snares. So when we change kicks to snare, snares to kick, we can understand the problem easily. So our second enemy is high frequencies for this mistake, okay? And on take four, we will learn our third enemy, it's intervals. What do I mean with intervals? On take four, I played on same BPM, 150, 16 notes of double bass, played with this mistake again, but this time I played snares double time. So let's listen. And see how the snares cover the mistake even more. Now it's harder to realize the mistake because we have more snares and more counts to make our brain busy. Let's look. So the kicks are not on time. Again, slave foot, left kick is always early. This is too bad. Needs to be here. Bad. Uh, not bad. It's too bad. So let's go for our last enemy for this mistake. It's speed. On this take 5, I played the same groove on take 1, but just faster on 200 BPM. So let's listen. Let's listen again. Did you understand now how harder to realize the mistake? This take looks fine, but it's not. Let's zoom in. Again, left kick early, early. It's not bad. Early needs to be here. Not bad, a bit early. Early needs to be here. Not bad. It's too bad. Needs to be here. So it's a bit hard to play wrong when you get used to play right so I did my best and this is bad needs to be here like 11 12 milliseconds maybe so when you speed it up it's near incomprehensible to the ears and now let's listen take six it's the same thing but just played on 100 ppm and now you will realize the mistake obviously because it's slow see how understandable when play on slow tempos what did i do for this our last example i will take this take 100 ppm and with Pro Tools Elastic Audio, switch to this take to 200 ppm. Of course, the sound changed, but do not concentrate on sound, just concentrate on timings. The sound will not come natural. But let's listen. Let's listen again. Seems not bad. When we listen this take, I think we all understood the uh, mistake. Obvious, it was obvious. But here, it seems uh, okay. But when we dig in, again, left kick is always early. See, oh, this is too bad. Needs to be here. So I will upload these files, all of them, with special notes for you to understand. So strange, isn't it? I'm just saying you, if you are not aware of this before and 
didn't train your ears, you can't realize this on rehearsals. You can't realize this on concerts, but you can easily realize this on studio recordings by looking at the graphs. And it doesn't matter how fast you play if you are making this mistake. Doesn't matter how fast you play if you are getting sloppy on fast tempos. You can play on 1000 BPM. It has no meaning if you are not on time. Main rule of being a good drummer is to being on time. As I said before in the beginning of the video, you can't imagine which drummers are doing this mistake. Uh, which concerts, even on which studio recordings, studio albums, uh, recorded with this mistake. I just don't want to mention the name of the drummers or albums because it's not nice at all. It's like, oh look, see, he made a mistake. I found his mistake. Uh, it's better try to add something to people instead of denigrating them. I'm just telling some general mistake for you to not do it. Before closing this video, please write in the comments on which round you realize the problem. I really wonder. But please be honest, uh, we had four rounds and plus the final round which we have listened uh, just the kick channels with full samples. And by the way, I opened a new Patreon page and I'm going to upload these seven takes, uh, every channel, one by one to there. Maybe you want to download and analyze the tracks by yourself so you can work and understand this mistake a bit more. So if you are interested, the link is in the description. I hope after watching this video, you will be more careful about those damned offbeats and go like clockwork. So my next video will be about muscle memory. We will talk about what is it and how important it is. So see you in the next video.